All right. Um, I don't think the wife has re redeemed anything yet. No, she has not. Uh, they do make coining a requirement to be successful in this game. I'll say that. They do do that. I'm just curious. I want to look at leaderboards real quick. It says I'm at Alliance mate killed what? All the proto. This warlord guy used to be in BK. I didn't realize he had joined Dog X. Wonder when that took place. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get why people do this. I really, I really don't get it. Unless it's just from boredom, you know. I guess it's, to some people, it's probably better than hitting bases. You know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of insane. I do have now have enough points for the Mastodon. I still, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get that. Um, I still need five and a half million, so I really don't even need to complete a whole other siege. Um, and um, but for me to get four, let me see, I could hit forty threes, but that's seventy six thousand a pop. Um, I probably have to have. 12 of them to get a million points and if I wanted to get another 4 million um, that's like hitting 50 of them dang things that's a grind so I guess I'm just going to stick with the campaign because I don't particularly care for a dr for the grind to get 4.27 million points See what my memory looks like. Yeah. Usually when I mine my memory goes over at one gig, to me that's time to uh, refresh. It's steadily going up right now for some reason. I think that's pretty nuts. You can see it just drop. Okay, speed up. All right, now just give it a few minutes.
Son looks like he's having a lot of fun on his uh, Forza game. Hey, the BTZ. The round table is at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, that's about two hours and 23 minutes from now. Um, there actually should be um, a link up already. Let me see here. Oh, that's right. Let me see. I was going to get you a link, didn't I? It, it, it actually is on the the BV page, but um, also if you click on the events tab at the top, it, you'll see it up there too. Um, I'll get you a link though. Right there. I just put it in the Twitch chat, um, so. But it it is on the BV page, and usually if you click on the events at the top too, because we used to pin it, uh, but we don't really pin it anymore. Um, we just kind of modify. We do the one pin every Thursday night. We'll change it with the new show, um, and then uh, we'll kind of just modify that from then on. Uh, but I guess I could probably go ahead and uh, and put that in the on the BV page. Let me see here. No, oh, I'd have to edit that whole thing. I <laughs> like what uh, Fear said on the BB page. Oh my, another week and another event. Buckle up, Buttercup. BB has what you need. <laughs> I think that was awesome. All right. Completion number five. It's put me over what I need, but it's all good.
I want to get a shockwave up here because I know there's mines there. That's why I switch targets. Well, wow, my Highlander got beat up already. Holy moly, boy, I just got really reckless, didn't I? I'm going to lose my Highlander. Oh man, I love my uh, Nighthawks. They are great. I got my number five done yesterday. I can't wait to get them ranked up, man. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to the next raiding fleets to come out. Um, it's just going to be great. It really is. I mean, it's why I said uh, before that I thought the um, I can understand why people go out and ninja fleets. I mean, they, yeah, they're being jerks. I get it, but. Uh, the Nighthawks are just a lot of freaking fun to drive. They really, really are. Oh yeah, from the start. Yep, I uh, I can't quite auto 75s yet. Um, I can't wait to get mine ranked up high enough where they can pull that off. They're just not quite there yet, but they're not far from it. I mean, when I'm driving, I can kill a 75 before I ever come up, but uh, as far I can't auto one yet.
So you just charge priority targets and finish them off. Okay. All right. Maybe, well, I'm not going to be doing that one again, but maybe next month I'll remember that. <laughs> Yowchies. All right, let's cancel. All right. I should be wearing a shirt and tie, maybe. you I had? 3.9 or something. I just finished the campaign. I'm at 4.7. I didn't get a 2 million bonus. That didn't sound right. Yeah, cause it came up and said 678,000. I was like, dang, I got a lot of points for that last one. And then when I went back, I said, oh, it was the last one. Because I can't go back in there. But then I looked at my score, and that's 4.7. And my wife doesn't think she got her bonus for completing a siege campaign. Go get me 
I know she's just had like three million or something like that, but now she's got like four seven. She says, "You might want to refresh and check your score again." <laughs> Light Cruiser X's. I uh, see uh, Black Heart 1129 is watching. Uh, Luke C. Walton is back. Welcome back, Luke. <laughs> Bless you, son. So right here I get the three shockwaves and it pretty much kills all the turrets too, so. Bam. And I can pretty much just come back here and try to target this thing. And I actually stop as soon as my, uh, before I even get that green dot. As soon as I start firing, I'll, I'll stop and then I won't have to worry about any torpedo fire. There we go. Yeah. Really want to just get this guy here moving, and then I'll turn back around and try to get out of range out of everything else. Because as soon as he dies, it's going to time out anyway, right? Mm, black bars. Let me check my memory. But memory's still not bad. Luke, how are you doing in your raid? How's your raid coming, bud? Yeah, my, uh, I got, my MCXs has got the Siege Missile Fs, and these were a, a great fleet for a really long time, but you see it's still rank 5, and um, it was rank 5 when the camp, before the ranks were changed, so they really don't get much use anymore, um, not much at all.
I killed my camera, son. My camera's off. I got uh, my napalm missile is going to be done in uh, eight minutes. How's that for awesome? Uh, no, no, I don't think I'm going to put the new missile on them, to be honest with you. I think if I do anything, it, um, I'm, because the, the MCXs are, I, I mean, the Kodiaks blow the MCXs away, you know, uh, I think I may just, uh, I need to build a set of Kodiaks. I think I might build Kodiaks just like I built my, my MCXs, you know, and use them. I mean, because uh, the Kodiaks, I mean, even with my R5, um, the Kodiaks are just better than my R5 MCXs, so. I don't really re remember all the all the comparisons, but um, I suspect, uh, without looking, I, I do believe the uh, Kodiaks are better than MCXs in every way. Just like the Siege Missile Z is better than the Siege Missile F in every, every way. It's kind of crazy when you think about the things that have happened just this year. The how how much the game has changed in this year to to pretty much makes MCXs completely irrelevant in this game. Well, they have more armor, but aren't don't they have like faster penetrative reload and all that stuff too? I, I did put have to put in a ticket because I didn't get my 5,000 uranium for my 10 million, hitting 10 million. So I'm just saying you, you might need to do the same thing. I mean, because it doesn't sound to me like you got your bonus. Because the bonus is 2 million, and I know you didn't get it because you would have been over 5. Yeah, something's odd. What? It's here now. Before, when I was clicking on it, I couldn't get to the... All I was getting this screen. I wasn't getting the... Uh... Oh, you didn't go in the right way. Is that what happened? Yeah, I think so. Never mind, my wife's a noob.
Hmm, I just had a crazy idea. Let's see here. Ignore my uh, fleet here. Boom. What's the date on Thursday? Um, 16th, the 23rd, 22nd. Excuse me? Thursday will be the 23rd. Jason's birthday is on Tuesday, 21st. Okay. Well, then you're right. My cat. I know last time around, I actually went around to avoid having to kill this guy. Um, I don't, obviously that, that was a mistake because he's got a thing on there and I couldn't avoid him. Banhammer's been swinging a lot during the event this time. I've, there's been a lot of people getting banned during this event.
I've seen a, a lot of band bases uh, on the band hammer page with um, the little shield next to them saying that they completed the uh, big campaign. The elite campaign, that little symbol that you get on your base. I've been seeing a lot of the band bases with that those shields on there. They added the dead. Oh, definitely the executioner. Um, I don't know that the ice cryo launcher really does anything. It, if anything, just the nerf effect that it has is what makes it suck. Um, not the amount of damage that it does. It's just it can kill your rate of fire, your fire rate, as well as your engine speed, uh, particularly if you stop. And they added a dead coaxial turret now what do you mean what is a dead coaxial turret I'm curious Autocorrect. Hey, Tito. Hey, Bryce. I am streaming. You're, uh, you're, uh, everybody can hear you. Okay. Are you done with your raid? No, no, not yet. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I think I'm working on my last uh, siege campaign, though. I should be done after this. Oh, good. So getting close. So what was better for you at the end? launchers, uh, or likely in the last one, or those hardlocks you were using? Well, I think the Harlocks work great, uh, and uh, but I, I do think, and I think that works probably as good as my new cruisers. But uh, money-wise, um, I think I think the the new cruisers are still cheaper. Yeah, I think that. The the hardlock has a lot a big DPS, but the fact that the other one kills more than one ship at a time helps a lot. Uh, how I'm sure you're done already, Tito. Yeah, um, I used the the jugs, and it was very simple after because I tried to see one of those uh, new elite campaigns, and I did it. But it was uh, too much work using zombie subs to kill all the entrance first. One that was done, get there and kill with the uh, Grim and and the other one, and that was too expensive. Uh, yeah, that to sounds be honest. expensive. Yeah, yeah. sounds expensive. 
The Thombi Cooters are not expensive. Uh, it's cheap. Just takes uh, maybe well, just 30 time. minutes to prep. Yeah. Uh, yes, takes a lot of time. Then that I saw that Grim and I saw that the Green Harlow was going to kill that Proton Nemesis with easy because my at least the first day the try to with countermeasures was not working. Now seems to work. Maybe they fixed it. I don't know. And well, uh, after doing that, another guy from AAB told me try the siege campaign, and I tried that with my chucks, remembering that the bait. Uh, Noob Cruises helped you so good in the last one, and that, that was like medicine. Uh, I could do them for 13 coins each round, the five maps with the same fleet without repairing. And I said, I do this way. And then I helped her twist it the same way. I used one of mine to put as mid shield, and she could do the, the rate as well for cheap. Nice, nice. So you and uh, uh, Twisted uh, Sister Yell. Uh I guess you seem like you take pretty good care of her, or is it uh, as far as yes, the, the game goes? Yes, I do. <laughs> same same way, like you could do with Victoria. That once you finish yours, you always try to help her to finish hers. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I know right now she's still got a long way to go, but I don't know that she really. She uh she helps me a lot too, or she used to, but she don't play as much as she used to. This game is uh, she's definitely turned off from this game. Well, uh, at times I tell you I have been fighting today with the group, and for a while, fleet versus fleet, aces skating, and all that is funny. But when you see that that guys look like they have a, a pocket that never ends, and in, and you smash them, and they come back, and you smash them again, and they come back again and again, uh, game turns a, a bit uh, nonsense because I don't uh, maybe they lie, but. For me, just go there and, and burn money that way is not my way of fun. Yeah. Did you start the jack at the end or you started something different? Oh, uh, I, I, I started the uh, Savage. I, I never built a Savage Kodiak, so I built one. I got one building. Oh, okay. It's a simple hull, or you're making a, a, a serious build? Oh no, just a simple hull. I'm putting just a phalanx on it. And that's all. Wow, who is this guy? And just, all of a sudden I come out here and I'm just surrounded. There's holes everywhere. It's not as good as other days, and takes the times at the reload yeah <clears throat> yeah just doing a, a savage kodiak i hadn't i've never built it so i'm just put got that in there right now and uh, like i said uh, it's just a simple build all it's got on there is just a simp just one phalanx on there right now and um and uh, i'm probably just going to keep it that way Yeah, and that's my idea of with all these flagships that give you those common fields of effect is getting them uh, just the, the hole with the, the minimum necessary for making them legal, like your web on a phalanx or hail and engine, so they don't slow you on the map. And man, I am so broken with uranium that the only thing that I could afford today was the whole stream, <laughs> that is 500 uranium. <laughs> So if Kixa is looking at this as well, I hope they bring the campaign this next weekend so we can recover a bit. All right, let's see. Let's cancel that. Start this up. Hmm. Hour and 50 minutes, man. That's a tough one. Um, let me think. See, even that's 11 minutes. Um, 
So my recommendation for you, if you don't have plan to build the full Savage Kodiak fleet, is that you build uh, one of those jugs and if you manage to put it uh, in front of your fleet, you can replace one of those launches with it and you will see the, the difference. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely, I'd love to have me a Jug X fleet built, uh, building, that, that would be great. Uh, I would love it. Um, I think I'm going to do something a little different here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend three coin on this one. I'm almost out, but, you know, I kind of wanted to be. And then I'm just going to take that one out. And uh, I'm going to move it in here. Which direction? There it is. And I just spend one coin here. Alright. That way I'm not uh, wasting anything. Down to four four gold on my account, man. My I can tell you, can't tell you how long it's been since my gold's been that low. It's been a long, long time. But this ought to well, do it for but, <laughs> but you have to spend what you used to spend in two months in just one, so it's it's not that bad. You s you s make it stretch it as much as you could. Yeah. And Joel says on the Twitch chat that oh hold on a second I forgot about this one retreat. Uh, uh, he says in the Twitch chat uh, I mean it sounds like he's suggesting he has a lot of uranium <laughs> five thousand uranium. I tell you, I have eight thousand, and I feel uh, I I feel shame because I have never got s such a low number. Yeah, well, mine is uh, eight point six uh, k right now, but that's really just because uh, it would be less, right? But it's like that was primarily from the doing the uh, getting ten million points on this event here. Tell me that you didn't need to waste anything of that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started on the Vanguard uh, when my last uh, re uh, component retrofit was done, because uh, it doesn't use any uranium. All right, uh, up arrow and then down arrow to stop them. That way, and then I can see all the mines. <laughs> now these are graphical areas. You see where all the mines are showing up at. Obviously, they're not there. They're, it's where these ice things are appearing is where they're actually at. Yeah, it, it, the game today got some has some issues with the connection. Uh, I have uh, seen people, especially people that has coined the new Mastodon, trying to fight and getting connection lost and couldn't move at all. That was nasty. But, well, I guess that it's Saturday. People is not working, and many more people were in the in the battle servers of this game. Yeah. So they crowded yeah. them. I've actually uh, streamed this entire event. Every 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 battle is uh, is on a Twitch video right now. The the whole siege campaign in each video, you mean? Oh yeah, every every on my whole event, everything I did is all here inside this uh, inside a Twitch stream. if any is going to replay them because mm, we are talking about hours yeah yeah it's a lot
The new missile for your MC, Fluid, Joel? Yeah, he, he asked earlier if he should go for the Avenger or the Missile, and I'm like, the Missile, definitely. Yes, because it's something I could experience with my jugs. I, I could do the five maps and keep 75% of their life uh, still on torch. Sorry, 25%. Uh, they, they got 75% damage. But when I was just m making mid shields of my jugs, I was barely reaching uh, the last map with, uh, with some life on, on them. Because DPS is important. Uh, Abate is good, so you, you slow down the damage you get. But without DPS, uh, sooner or later, they score through that Abate uh, and they harm you. So have something that makes real damage, likely that missile, with 1,000 over ships and close to 2,000 no, over buildings, is going to help you a lot, even with a, a, sh a ship that I, like the MC. Yeah, that 200 tons that, that Siege Missile Z weighs less than the Siege Missile F, is uh, that's huge, because I mean, it's really not just 200 tons, because there's all those specials that also add... Um, there's all those specials that add additional weight, like uh, the weapon weight. That's the weight of the special is, uh, you know, the, whatever the weapon weight special is, a percentage. Uh, and, and then there's other ones that um, add to the whole uh, fleet weight, too. So when you recover those 200 tons, you know, uh, it's, it's huge. It's a big deal. Yeah, especially talking about that he's using the little brother of the legendary MCX, and that one has uh, weight restrictions. Yeah. Yeah. Are you watching any football or some sports? Because in your image frozen, you have your arms raised, likely somebody that has a skirt. Uh... No, I'm not watching any sports. As I as I commented you, the since that the stream today is limited, or well, there must be massive people using this uh, service. And in one of them, you got frozen with your arms extended up, like people do when they celebrate <laughs> that the team has won something. It was funny. Oh, no, I was probably just stretching. Just sitting here in this game like this for hours, man, it, it just makes your body sore. You know, it's like I just need to get up and move. Yeah. I try to start each of the seeds to do something, or I go prepare something for the cook in the cooking, or or just take the puppy and make a walk, and then come back. Yeah, but all, also, also helps. All, everybody, uh, everybody in my house is gaming though, so I don't know. My upstream is should be plenty. This right here is uh, two meg. Uh, the Twitch stream is, but I'm gaming. I'm on, on playing Battle Pirates. My wife is playing Battle Pirates. She, and my son is on the Xbox playing Forza, so. Oh no, uh, I told you, I envy your connection. Six, six megabytes of load, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, I think I it's, cannot, it's supposed uh, to be yeah, five, but you get a little bit more. Yeah, well, I tell you, in, in I live in an island and the broadband is limited a bit, and uh, it doesn't matter how much you pay, you don't get more than one megabyte of blow, so I always get that handicap. Yeah. To see if now, they, now we are starting to get the fiber being, uh, well, all spread over the Iceland, so maybe with that we will get better connection, I guess. Yeah, better service. Yeah, yeah. yeah because I tell you, if I play with people in Europe or in, in servers in Europe, my 
my pink, the one we play, and it's it's between 60 and 100. But if I try to play with you, the Americans, I don't go below 200. And, and that engages likely the one that your son may be is playing in that Xbox or PS4. It, it's a huge difference because when I shoot in your, your head, you when I really shoot, you are not already there. Yeah, and even if you don't get the Kodiak, because probably it's going to be released if or next month or in the Christmas Hula Store, I guess. If they don't change the the schedule of three Hula Stores that I'm guessing they are going to do. So, yeah, sure, you, you have a good choice over there. Or those interceptors, those interceptors do a nasty work with missiles on top. So is Victoria doing it solo or, or join any alliance to get the bonus at the end? Yeah, she's not wearing any tags. She's not getting any kind of alliance bonus. I should see the reload on the interdictor. Sounds like something's got uh, Joel excited. No, <laughs> reminds me that comment you made that's a random thought he got because we are talking about torpedoes, missiles. Talking about for his campaign, I guess maybe some interdictors in there got some crazy reload. I don't know. So I don't think any of the uh, AI holes that get any kind of uh, rank. Of course, that's probably next. Uh oh, didn't mean to put my number one up there.
Now I'm sure this is going to get activated as soon as I get up here. I mean, the uh, I'm going to end up timing out. Uh, he's still in the strike campaign. He does say, um, Joel says, I guess they, they're outranging him. The torpedoes are outranging him. Yeah, but if you say that you have torpedoes, you should try always to find uh, one of those ice tiles or one fence that yeah, you can to get behind. Stay behind, yeah. So this way the torpedoes don't do any harm to you and you are just dealing with the missiles. And the MC uh, is a strong uh, versus the missile damage. Oh, there we go. I did that one in one, one, one go. That should conclude my event. Only I think I can see is that your Highlander better keep a bit behind. Because it's getting a beating. All done. Yeah, Joel says nothing to hide behind. I'm sorry, I I can only know what you guys tell us because. Uh, yeah. I don't have any of my alliance in that in that level, so I could join them and see the the campaign. I have only seen the siege one. Well, I'm done. Yeah, definitely. People was a bit upset with the IE this time, especially uh, when you are with subs and they don't see you, but they turn, uh, so you can never reach them with the torpedoes, and they do at times nasty turnings just to avoid getting hit by you. Or, as Six Angel told me, there is a one that is interesting, if the mother ship, uh, sorry, the proto-nemesis. The proto-nemesis, normally, if you use uh, something that is just for the bait, will sit there and take your damage, while he's shooting at you. But if you are using something like the mortars, he will keep moving, so those mortars don't affect uh, it. So they improve at it, and depending on the weapon you use, will react one way or another. Man, that's two weeks to put on a dead eye. Is that insane or what? Two weeks. Or $80. Or $80. Uh, I, did, I am doing that right now. I wanted to put a few oil rigs. But I feel that the splash was going to harm my enforcer behind. I even is a bit further, so I I turned it away that idea and and I started the the live. But yeah, twelve days and something. Well, I'm putting my finally going to put a gargoyle in. That's what I'm going to do. Once I put that gargoyle in, I don't, I don't mind putting my viper in, because even though my viper can't shoot at anything, it'll be able to see it. Talking about defense and vipers, uh, for the viper, uh, if anybody hears us, I suggest that you put it somewhere where the reaper with the deluge uh, has to surface at least once. So you have a chance with your enforcers or hardlocks or any other ship with long range you have to harm them. Because if not, get in mind that the Piper uh, spot range with the thermal sonar is 80, but that missile shots over 100. So it will be shot in you without you being able to spot it. Check on that time again, price the because I think it's not that long that took me to build a gargoyle with the uh, with those lit panels. Maybe you are taking some sort of glitch at uh, see at times with the time with that. I think it took me two days and something. Um. 
Unless it's something you already started. Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, if right, um, just to clear it, and just to clear it's a day and a half. Um, just the gargle by itself was two days and eight hours, but then when I add the lead uh, panel three also to it, it goes up to four days. Maybe it's because I thought maybe I I put first the lead panel on because they were serps and then I did the other and that's because I thought the impression it was less time. Yeah. But anyway, that concludes my event. I um I got now I got three napalms. I've got. Uh, that one, that one, and that one. Now this one here doesn't have any specials on it yet. I still need to put, um, I still need to put the uh, fire support pl platform M on there. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do that later. But I still, I have one empty platform back here that I need to do something with level three platform. And this platform here's are level three too. Um, so I, I, I got a little bit. A little bit to do I mean actually I mean it's going to take months months and months to uh, at least maybe a half a year I'm going to be working on this base yeah especially because those models at least takes one day and you have if you have uh, delete them you have to rebuild and that takes uh, at least takes one or two days to make one of those res gens a level 10 to, to use it to put the model on, on, on top oh I don't know if you noticed, but I did change my island back here. I, um, you know, I had my my warehouses lined up to go like this. Uh, well, they were like um, all right next to each other. Uh, an L. I remember an L of them. Yeah, and uh, but I, I changed all that because the issue that I had was um, a lot of my javelins they weren't quite reaching the channel good enough, and um, and. So it's like I needed to figure out how to put them closer to the side of the island and not so far on the inside, you know. And um, and then I, I was worried about, because um, I plan on putting the the, the special, the fire support special uh, on four of the warehouses. And, um, and I was trying to get the mass, maximum effect. And uh, so I ended up basically changing my island around to look like this where I have four four turrets here on the outside and then I got because these ones right here maybe if I show you excuse me my base planner you can see would you mind you can see, yeah. placing your cursor on the top of the enforcer to see the blind spots because I think this is similar to the base that the smart got for a while and for me the, the big issue was cover all the blind spots because got too many yeah, well, there and there is there is blind spots in here. Um, well, hope hopefully though, it's like it's probably not really smart for me coming on here and uh, and pointing them all out. Uh, it'll make my my base no, no. even easier. No, 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 don't do it. <laughs> yeah. On second thought, is it's not clever to tell them, hey guys, sit here over there and you do my yeah, base. Yeah, if you want to kill my base, you need to park right here. <laughs> do do a Twitch. Of this, just for letting people know how how to build your base, is not a clever idea. I yeah, agree yeah. with that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I you know I, I moved my javelins out so that I could cover my channel because I did have a lot of blank spots. It was really bad. Um, now a lot of people might not have realized it, but obviously the people who hit um, a lot more bases would 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 probably recognize where they can park and where they you know not to. But um, you know, uh, with with it like this, so um, I got a lot better coverage, and uh, and I should be able to get. Um, let me see, discard. I should be able to get a lot better coverage on on like my javelins here, because it's like even though my fire support here and here, and on my outpost, all of that still reaches, will reach all four of these turrets. 
And this one right here, for example, see it gets 30%. It's getting a, the three fields. And then once I get fire support on these other two warehouses, then they'll have five fields. So then I'm going to get 50% across the board for a bonus damage and bonus reload. Yeah, your base is going to be nasty when you get all the fields, uh, fields uh, set there. Yeah, so that ought to be really nice. But then, uh, you know, I, I still need to put the combined defense. I, I want to put com combined defense on all of these labs. And then uh, if ever, I, you know, I get around to it, you know, once I get like all of my, like this platform here up to level four and that kind of thing, and I get my specials, you know, I'm going to, uh, you know, I, I'll be able to put armor on these labs. Uh, once they, I upgrade them, them to upgrade them to 11, they get an armor slot, and um, and then so I'll be able to make these labs a little bit tougher too. But yeah, uh, because that's but, the uh, yeah. the main issue I see with all these range gens that we all are using. That somebody goes there with the uh, uh, Grimshon or with that splash damage and. All that models are going to blow in a in a single shot when those mort uh, mortars start to fall over the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe I'll uh, actually go ahead and uh, refortify this one because um, you know I know before I'd complained about not being able to pull my fortifications off, but it being that I can put a combined defense field on these now, I might you know I, I want these to live a little longer. So. But we'll see how it you know goes. that you we'll have you have the icon. Uh, I recognize when a guy has uh, it has been or or, or is uh, one of those coiners. Mm -hmm. I recognize the, that somebody is a coiner when I see that they ship here with the fortification. I never got time to do that. I always <laughs> got busy. <laughs> no, I well, all of my resource generators. These are all fully upgraded. These are all tens, and all full full fortification. Uh, too. I had done all of that. I had everything done. I mean, uh, at one point in my in, yeah, but, in, in my base, I had everything done. Yeah, but you have even your shipyard fortificated, and that means that at some point your shipyard was stopped at just building that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. And the only the only thing I I stopped my shipyard from working was that week that we were needing. I don't know if nowadays is the same time because. When I upgraded it, yeah. Yeah, upgrading it in shipyard too, yeah. But, well, anyway, I guess uh, I do got a little bit of repairs to do. I got uh, like two hours on this, and I got like three and a half hours on this. Maybe, maybe I'll get around to doing some drag bases at some point. I, I did a, a few because I was needing a, a few points so I could uh, f get the level 5 on the steel system. But now today I was so bad with uranium that the only thing I could do was get the Hula stream and it's 500. <laughs> you care if I peek your battle, babe? You should try Joel, to upgrade it because when you're using any of those compounds, CP4 and stuff like that, the 50% reduction helps you a lot. Yeah, yeah, Joel, I definitely recommend upgrading your shipyard if you can, because you know the the forsaken stuff. You know, there's there there are stuff, a lot of forsaken elements that you can still use uh, that are worthy. You know, and that 50%, yeah, definitely comes in handy. No, oh, my dog's crying, but I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'll stay on the uh, raid call, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill the Twitch stream. Okay. All right, uh, Twitch All right. folks, y'all uh, take Twitch care. Twitch folks, y'all take later. I'd like to get this outro uh, modified.